here right here at Galaxy, wondering seven if him and the party hasn't even got close to being over yet. We're joined coming out of uh, Chicago, in a balmy Chicago today. It's quite warm over there today, uh, 56 degrees apparently. As Jimmy Saar, a good friend of ours, and believe me, it's been a while since we've spoken to Jimmy. How are you going, my friend? I'm doing great, Grant. How are you? Ah, it is an absolute pleasure to catch up with you. As you always know, you're one of my favourite artists, and believe me, uh, it's been a long time since we've had a few drinks together. Uh, are, are, you in, are you in the studio at the moment looking at doing anything new? Uh, I'm writing right now, and I'm uh, hoping to get in the studio after the first of the year, but a whole new album out in 2019. Nice, nice, because uh, you know you've got fans down here, down under, that are just chomping at the bit to uh, hear some new Jimmy Sarr, and believe me, uh, I'm one of the first ones that want to be able to say, uh, how would you like to send us some CDs that we can give away to our fans, because believe me, I'm not the only one that's a big Jimmy Sarr fan. Yeah, I signed, uh, I signed a bunch, and they're in the mail, they're on their way to you right now as we speak, so you can give those away to whoever wants them. Nice. Well, I tell you what, when we do receive them, I'll probably get Barbara to get in touch with you again, the famous Barbara, and uh, we'll set up a, uh, a proper interview. Uh, my headphones are giving me a bit of stick right now. Uh, set up a proper interview, and we'll go through the, uh, uh, through the CD itself. Uh, now, I, I just played Redneck Undercover. It's one of my favorites, I've got to admit. Uh, but uh, tell me a little bit about it. Where did the lyrics come from with that particular track? that's I think a lot of uh, a lot of people can relate to especially you know from a, a guy's perspective you know you got a nine to five during the week and you got to be this guy and then come Friday 5 p.m. you get to undo the tie take off the button-up shirt put on a t-shirt hat backwards drink a beer and go have some fun with your friends I think it's uh it's just one of those feel good fun party songs that uh, I think a lot of people relate to yeah, I, I got to agree with you, uh, Jimmy, because believe me, we get a lot of requests for Redneck Undercover here at Galaxy. We really, really do. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. We do play uh, you through the uh, country show that we have on a Sunday. And believe me, we get a lot of requests on a Monday morning when we come in and check the emails uh, and wanting to know more about Jimmy Sarr and uh, uh, all about it. Literally, there's some really uh, weird questions that I get sometimes uh, asking about particular artists, uh, especially... Uh, we have uh, a million miles, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's making a huge inroads here we, ever since we started playing it. So I love it. Then. I mean, like I said, it's still it's still crazy to me that you know my music's being so well responded to. You know, half a world away. You know, we're you know we're not we're not in my you know a little out of my neck of the woods. But man, it's just it's just crazy to me to think that uh, you know that it's being played on the other side of the planet and uh, people are so well received and so many fans and I get, I get emails and messages from people from from down there too and uh it's just it's still it's still humbling yeah believe me jimmy you are amongst friends in the australasias that's for sure when you come down here you'll realize that everybody does love you and loves your music down here my friend can't wait to have you down here maybe with rod uh, of course uh, uh weren't you catching up with rod a few days ago uh, we, we talk constantly. Uh, we're always uh, texting or, you know, phone call here and there. Uh, I believe he's in Nashville right now. I was hoping to run into him, actually. I was thinking about heading down there right for the for New Year's, but he's going to be back in Canada at that point, so we'll, we'll miss each other again. But, you know, I love Rod. Rod's, Rod's the best, man, and uh, I hope that we and I can get together real soon. Yeah, I was talking to Rod a few days ago, would you believe? Uh, I think on Barbara's birthday, which was the 10th, and... Uh, uh, he had to make a special thing of coming on and I was saying to him uh, we have plans for you to come down here and to uh, bring the Hillbilly Vegas show with you uh, also uh, we'd love to have Jimmy Sarr amongst you, he says yes, and I says now Rod when you do get here, don't forget you owe me a black hat you know, he'd forgotten <laughs> about that <laughs> yeah, he'll never get that black hat from him. He might bring you a different one, but he'll never get his. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just giving him a bit of stick, but I do want his hat, you know. Uh, but, you know, we have ways and means of being able to extract favourite things from people down here, down under. Uh, we, we call it alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that tends to 
Let's do the trick. Yeah, yeah, when you wake up on the plane and find your hat's not with you, you'll know where it is. It's been loved. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm a little nervous not coming down there with you, Grant. Well, uh, get a lot of trouble. Well, don't, don't be nervous, but I'll tell you what, um, I, I must ask you, uh, because we do a few crazy things here in New Zealand, uh, are you up for doing something a little different? Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. I, I really do, because then they don't know what they're getting into. <laughs> but I'll give you a little insight. Have you ever heard of a hoo hoo grub? No, I have not. Okay, well, uh, not the kind of hoo hoo that you're kind of familiar with. In fact, that's my favourite kind as well. But you must have heard of a caterpillar, right? Yes. Okay, well, this is a caterpillar that's on steroids. It's huge. It's about two inches long. It's big. It's white. It's got a black head. So what you do, and uh, we'll send you the instructional video so that you know we're not pulling your leg, is you put the whole body in your mouth, bite off the head, don't eat the head, it's yucky. But when you crunch down on this particular item, it tastes like creamy peanut butter. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you see, it's got to get past the head first, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, am I really going to do this? Uh, seriously, my friend, we can share a mason jar or two between us, in between doing the hoo-hoos, but you've really got to ask yourself the kind of guy that's handing you a bowl of these live things that he wants you to eat. You know, got to be crazy, don't you think? Yeah, I can say we don't do anything like that up here in the States. <laughs> well, I'll, education, uh, I'll lend a little education your way, but let me, you'll find uh, a lot of culture that we do here in New Zealand, uh, and we'll get you integrated into that. Uh, even take you down the bottom of the South Island and, oh, I don't know, Barbara, throw them off a bridge. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, we'll throw you off a bridge. Yeah. Pregnant boys, he's running that one through his brain cell right now. Did he say he's going to throw me off a bridge? Yes, I did. Actually, we have a thing down here in New Zealand called... Oh, he me off a bridge. <laughs> You're freaking out. That extra went bad for a second. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah I, was, I was saying we're going to throw you off a bridge. We have a thing down here in New Zealand called bungee jumping, my friend. Yeah, I've never tried. We have that here, too. I've never tried. I've jumped out of an airplane before, but I've never done the bungee jumping thing. Well, I can do that with you as well. I, I'm uh, part of the uh, Paris, Paris Gliding Club and the Parachute Club here in uh, the Bay of Plenty. So uh, uh, we can always arrange something like that. I don't mind throwing you out of a plane, bro. I really don't. Yeah, like you said, after a few of those uh, mason jars, I guess anything's possible, right? Yeah, and Jimmy's looking at me rather strange now going, he's a friend of mine, this guy's a friend of mine, he wants to throw me out of the thing. <laughs> It's all part of good fun, my friend. It really is. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned, yes, it's all part of the mason jar culture too. Uh, can't do anything without a mason jar, my friend. We've got to have one of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, are you familiar with the uh, TV sensation uh, Moonshiners? Yes, I am, actually. Okay, well, one of the guys on there, Josh Owens, is actually... Uh, going to be joining us for an interview uh, next year, a, a young man that we know quite comfortably, J.D. Medford is a friend of his, and uh, he's lining us up. In fact, we spoke to J.D. earlier on today uh, with an interview with Josh and uh, uh, his little dog, Cutie Pie. Remember the little dog? Yeah, they do. Yeah, well, uh, uh, apparently last season it got bitten by a snake and it really worried him. I had a lot of respect for him because, you know, he was worried about his animals. I'm a kind of an animal guy too, if you know what I mean. So we sort of clicked on that one. So looking forward to meeting Josh out of the Moonshiners. Uh, but we'd love to be able to get you and Jody and Josh and Rod and the whole Billy Vegas and everybody else down here, down under, uh, and doing a big festival. And believe me, Jimmy, I, I kind of feel it wouldn't be uh, the same kind of show without you. Oh, I appreciate that. I, you know, I'd love to be a part of it. I, we've been talking for, God, it's been close to, I think our first interview with you was, what, almost two years ago. And ever since then, you know, I, it's, it's always in the back of my mind about getting, getting down there and uh, doing a show or two. Absolutely, absolutely. You're right. It's been a couple. Of, we've known each other for a couple of years, and, and I've got to uh, uh, commend you on your bravery of coming back to us all the time. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. Yeah, I love it. I, I brag about you all the time, and like I said, it's uh, it's just it's just amazing. Like I said, you're one of my favorite favorite people to talk to. I do these interviews all the time, and you guys definitely. It's never your typical, you know, exchange. I can always expect something uh, a little bit different, a little bit out of the box from you, and I, it, it's what makes it fun. Exactly, exactly. Why be a dry, everyday kind of DJ that does the same interviews over and over and over again? That's boring, to be very honest right. with you. 
Um, these, these, these American DJs, they don't even ask you about biting off the heads of caterpillars. Yeah, exactly. Like that. They have no idea. Come on, you know. Throwing me off the pitch, you know. <laughs> I, 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 th I think the most uh, exciting uh, kind of interview, interview you'd get out of them is what kind of McDonald's are you going to have after the interview? Yeah, they, they do get pretty typical and pretty boring, same questions over and over again. Exactly. It happens. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Got to let you know, though, at the moment, my friend, we have 5,493,000 online listening to us right now. I, I kind of think that they're all just uh, boy ears. They come in for a quick listen. What do you reckon? I, I think that that's amazing, for one, but I, I think it's you, buddy. I think it's you that brings all these people in there to listen. Well, that's nice. Uh, it's a very good in there, right? But I think it's you, my friend. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much. I I'd like to be able to think that too, but to be quite honest, I kind of feel it's the whole team of Galaxy that makes it successful. And what do you know? Uh, we do interviews with successful artists like yourself, and before you know it, they tell two friends who tell two friends, and before long, we're up around the fives and seven millions. And uh, believe me, uh, we're going to be doing a show on New Year's Eve last year. 11 million people joined us from around the world for New Year's Eve show. Wow. I think everybody wanted to get a jump start because we're the first in the world to celebrate it. And uh, right. I I'm kind of scared about this year, to be honest. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> Anything can happen. Now, Jimmy, it has been an absolute pleasure to catch up with you and uh, am absolutely looking forward to catching up with you in the new year to be able to talk Absolutely. About it is, let me know. We'll, we'll do this again. Brilliant, brilliant. We'd love that. But hey, happy birthday. Here you turn to Big 21 tomorrow. <laughs> Somebody's been talking, haven't they? Letting oh, the cat out of the bag. Someone let the bird out, right? Yeah, yeah, I think I know who that might be. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but yeah. I, I personally, my friend, I want to wish you and your family, everybody around you, a very happy New Year and a very Merry Christmas. You will stay safe, won't you? Merry Christmas. Barbara, thank you. Merry Christmas. You guys are always great to me, and I uh, look forward to catching up with you after the new year. Awesome, my friend. And believe me, I'm very, very excited about this package that's on its way to us right now. We'll make sure somebody's here in the office to make sure that they receive it. Believe me, we have a skeleton staff taking us through the new years and everything like that. Awesome. So we will make sure that you are right there at the beginning of the year to be able to give away these prizes. Uh, at the same time, i got to uh, say, uh, I hope it's not going to be one of those weird weather kind of uh, New Year's Eve. Get out and have a good time, won't you? I think we're going to do something low-key, maybe just a few friends, a little, a little small get-together. So we're going to bring it in that way this year. No shows, just kind of laid back, take it easy. Okay, well, uh, at the Christmas time, please have an eggnog for me, my friend. I know that you're going to absolutely... Do the thing. I will certainly do that. And believe me, uh, after this show today, I'm actually going to head over and have a few drinks myself, which is um, uh, out, of the, uh, out of the norm for me. Normally I head on home and go and spend work at home. Uh, but today I'm going to celebrate, that's for sure. So thank you so much for joining us today, Jimmy. It has been a pleasure. Too long between drinks. Let's do it again yeah. real soon. Absolutely. Brilliant. You yeah, uh, want to have a great birthday, Grant. I, I will, actually, and I thank you for that. I really, really do. And uh, I'm going to find out what your birthday is, and uh, I'll, I'll hit you up on yours as well. That'd, uh, be, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. Nice, nice. Uh, you never know. I might come and knock on your door. That'll freak you out. Your tip. Oh. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Uh, so uh, you have a very, very happy and safe festivals, and we'll catch you in the new year. That's Jimmy Sarr, right. right here at Galaxy 107 FM, coming out of Chicago. Yeah.